this is a highly sensitive uh, issue because one thing we know, I mean, Harry may be coming over very possibly to see his father. He certainly said he was coming over uh, at other occasions. So I would assume that that will feature. Um, I would also, we know about uh, the Invictus uh, commitment in May. Now, the problem there is that he knows, all of us know, that this is going to be very high profile. And from that point of view, we know the brothers have no contact reportedly at the moment and haven't for some time. Now, I certainly uh, think that William has, a, well, I mean, the pressures are enormous. And I mean, Catherine has just given what I would say would probably have been the bravest interview uh, of its sort ever given in Britain. It's a dreadful predicament. Uh, and I mean, the fact is, however, the marriage is with uh, Catherine is close. He's got his children. And of course, that is an enormous responsibility in how you how this would be managed so you know it, it it's i think that people will will feel for him they'll wish him well uh they'll pray in some cases for him uh i think it's it is it, it really is uh something that is very very difficult and one can only say that really uh, and just hope that things work out in both both cases and also he'll be doing royal engagements when he can and of course his family are the big responsibility and always he's put them first the last thing harry wants of course because he wants to celebrate invictus is for that to be subsumed in an uh, with reports and arguments as to whether or not who he's seeing when he's seeing and so on i do think he'll be back before then i think he'll be back to see his father now Here's the question that we may not know, whether at this time, given that illness changes so much, he will be in touch, we know he's been in touch with William, whether they'll meet. I think it. there are those who think that it's impossible. Uh, I would say nothing's ever impossible, but obviously, in certainly in William's case, he doesn't want the uh, pressure and the publicity that all this would give and also uh, he's you know he is obviously stubborn he knows that for years the Sussexes have rubbished the royal family and monetized uh, their links with it for gain so uh, you know whether it was his attack of uh, alleged attack on Harry or whether it was his Catherine fitting a certain mold and so on, it, it's been impossible so it may they may meet they may not one thing rest assured there will be enormous speculation about this and there will also be enormous speculation about it if we don't know by may and harry may well feel aggrieved that at a time when he believes we should be celebrating his undoubtedly successful invictus games and it is a of great success uh, that attention should be drawn towards other things but if he feels like that he might bear in mind the way the Sussexes have ruthlessly railroaded their own agenda over recent years and if the royals have been doing something that happens to uh, clap or well, put it this way they've, they've been quite ruthless in in including their schedules what suits them breaking news where there was a netflix trailer which uh, broke the news um, uh, before that harry and Meghan netflix that was uh, as i remember calculated or appeared to be calculated to steal the thunder of william as a shot prize i so i mean they've been ruthless in this regard and uh, this is just part and parcel for the course that they they were responsible for uh Harry will undoubtedly be over in May, but as I say, I think he'll be over before. But anything with William, if it happens, will happen privately. William has indeed got more than most humans could cope with. And from that point of view, um, nothing may happen. We, we simply don't know. Remember, the year is only, we're only in March. So before I use the phrase, we'll see what else the year has to, got 
with it. At least we've got the fact the king is attending Sunday service uh, is a plus. It shows his tree responding to treatment. And I think Kate was as positive as she possibly could be in a broadcast, as I say, that was uniquely uh, courageous. So I, I would think that some would say that it might very well have that appearance, but we'll have to wait before we use the subriquet Anna Cerebellus again for the year to end. It was endless. I, I, I mean, I, there's almost nothing that she isn't. I wouldn't grudge her dog food, but I don't think that uh, that is likely to be um, based on or linked in any way to the Middletons. It's just part of a lifestyle thing where she's got this vast huge number of uh, products that are supposed to be available. I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, you can think of a satirical side to it, but I, I wouldn't go down that one because it's, you know, it, it is rather far. Um, I don't think there's any connection between it. I didn't know James Middleton had uh, any interest in dog food, but I, the whole enterprise doesn't sound to me like, one that uh, that would be Hollywood alias. If she can get Oprah to endorse the uh, said products or somebody, uh, George Clooney perhaps, then that's another thing. I mean, she had Hollywood A-listers at the wedding. Reportedly, she didn't know them very well. Now is the time, now she's launching this, to get A-listers, if they will, to back her and back her publicly. So I'd be very interested to see if that happens. If when they had gone to Montecito, they had concentrated on this sort of thing at a different level, you could argue, I mean, this isn't or probably won't be Hollywood alias. But at least it's something that they want to do a sort of TIG2 she's doing, linked to Instagram, possibly linked to a cockery program. It's been reported on Netflix, uh, perhaps even a book. Who knows? But this would have been completely harmless. They've got masses of fans on Instagram, and they will undoubtedly help it be somewhat of a success, at least I suspect so. I mean, the problem was that to establish themselves, I mean, they already were established as individuals who everybody knew who they were. Had they originally taken the line that this is the sort of thing she could have done, TIG 2 or its equivalent, as soon as they stepped down as senior working royals or planned it, you couldn't argue that they're not big in the sense that they're members of the royal family, they're certainly their profile has not improved in the recent months.